Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a pretty like big Primark haul. It's also going to be try on as well for the items that like are try on items I guess. So if you haven't done so already then please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos from me and let's get on with the video. Also, I just want to point out, it's currently 3am and like I said I've just filmed two other videos so my throat is starting to get so croaky. So we're going to sort of start with the clothing because there's only three items. So if you came for the clothing, there is three, so I'm going to show them now, and I'm going to show homeware stuff afterwards. Homeware? Accessories, I don't know. First thing I got, which is probably my favourite thing actually, is in a size small, which is a 10 to 12, and it was £12. And all three things I got are vests, by the way. So this first one, which I feel like a lot of people have been wearing recently, I don't know where from, but a lot of people have been wearing similar ones. It's just this like cream vest, which has like this... It actually has shoulder pads in it. And yeah, I don't, so there's literally, vests are so hard to talk about. I also think I've showed so many clothes in the last hour and a half. I've shown about 30 items of clothing. I have no more describing words left. <laughs> like I have no more ways to describe clothes anymore that I'm like, I feel like I've just like lost all like function in my mouth. And just like this is really cute. You'll be able to see it in the try on way better, but like it's just a cute little vest that I feel like a lot of people have got. I don't know if they've got them from Primark. And it does have this more like this bit at the bottom. Funnily enough, this is my last video I'm filming, but the, this was actually one of the first items I tried on in the try on like session I did. So yeah, and that's it. I'm just gonna show you that because next one I got is, I got it in a 6 to 8. So I got this in an extra small and I've got, it's a size 10, nope. I got it in a 6 to 8, which is an extra small, and it was £10. Um, with vests, and I feel like, not even vests, Primark's just a bit, you know, it's cheap, it's all over the place when it comes to sizing. So, some things you need, like, a 12, for example, for me, for example, and some things I need, like, a 4. It's really messy. Like, my nan literally got a 2XS, which is, like, a 4, in a cardigan, when she's normally, like, a 10 to 12 I think so that just shows that Primark size is weird <laughs> but I've got this really pretty like autumnal like vest I'd honestly think like it kind of looks similar to my lipstick and this is the Kylie lip kit in autumn so I feel like that goes well but yeah I absolutely love this it's just such a cute little vest like oh it's just so nice I like how it kind of has like different like colours in it it's not just pure orange it has like this like darker brownie colour and then kind of like light speckles as well I really really like that um and it's just obviously like a little v-neck one which I don't think I have a v-neck one apart from the one I'm about to show you after let me know what you wear under vests because I've currently got like one two three four five six six of them um so I would love to know like how you style them because the one I wore for Boxing Day from Zara last year was like a proper chunky like not like a simple like vest like this it had a lot more to it if you want to see it go onto my Instagram because it's posted it was posted like last Christmas which wasn't that many posts ago it was on Boxing Day and I love it and that looks really lovely with a shirt under it but like what do you wear underneath like these sort of ones do you wear shirts do you wear bodysuits like what's your go-to i'd love to know next one i got in a small which is a 10 to 12 and it was 13 pounds this one is kind of like a cardigan vibe this one it just looks like this i think this one is one of my favorites too but i actually really like this i like the little buttons on it i like how cute that is and i like the detailing on this one as well because this one looks like a lot more chunky in it than the other two um it's definitely got that more chunk in it vibe. It's almost got like granddad vibes. And I really like it. Like I think it's really, it's a really, really cute vest. And it's also got like, you can kind of tell it's got quite big like arms. Um, so it's kind of going to hang over slightly, which I really like. So that is all the clothes I got. So I'm just going to literally, I, I remember what I got. I feel like I remember everything that I got. What's in here? Oh look, the actual thing I was thinking about. I saw so I got a bucket hat, which was five pound. And it looks like this. <laughs> I would just like to point out, 
I bought this without actually seeing it on me. Um, they had like obviously like the berets and the bucket hats and like the regular hats, the harder ones that have the little thing around them like your satin, but I can't remember what they're called. And I tried this on and we were in a section of private where there wasn't many mirrors and um, we tried this, I tried this on, my mum said it looked, suited me, I tried it on again, my nan said it suited me. I actually would like a pink one, but you know, but I'm kind of scared to put this on in case it doesn't suit me, but we're going to see. I actually love it. I love this. It actually does quite suit me, I can't lie. It's because I've got blonde hair, so it like, my hair really pops in like dark colours. Um, my hair also really pops when I wear pink hats. Like, I've got a pink beanie and whenever I wear my pink beanie, my hair really pops. It looks really nice. I actually quite like this. I didn't think I was going to like it. I know I bought it, but that's because they both told me it suited me. But I actually really like it. My hair looks very ashy on camera today. You know what? Out of all hats, I thought this would be the last hat to suit me. I really did. I did not think I'd be a bucket hat person. I've seen them for so many years. I really want one, but they're just not going to suit me. But actually, I quite like them. I will say, and I will still stand by the fact, I don't think a beret will suit me. I genuinely think it's because of my hair. I think my hair's, like, too thick. And what I mean by that is, like, frizzy. Like, my hair's, like... It doesn't look it now, because the ends don't really tend to, if I've straightened it or I've styled it. If I leave my hair natural, my hair goes very frizzy. So I feel like a beret or something would like, just look like it's plopped on top of my head. <laughs> and then next, I just got, this is really boring. I just got some black 80 denier tights in medium. Because I basically, um, actually I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm sorting out all of this, this haul stuff. I'm doing a bit of an organization with my, I'm not filming it, but with my wardrobe and my chest of drawers, just a bit of a rejig around. So I'm basically just going to chuck out all of my tights and start again because I've had them for so many years. And then I have a few Christmas bits in this bag. I've got some in this bag as well. The first thing I have, which were £5, is I've got some slipper boots. These are, I don't know, they're like Mickey Mouse. Like they're Disney, like slipper boots. Because basically it's getting quite cold now. As you, if you're in the UK, you would know. Which are literally just like such thick, fluffy boots. And they've got little grips, like they've got little Mickey Mouse grips at the bottom. Like how cute is that? And they're only £5. And I like them because they weren't proper slippers. They're, but they're like Christmassy ones. So I thought they were really cute. So I got those. <laughs> I got just a pair of black gloves. This is very book standard. £1. I've got these in grey. I got them last year or year before, I think, actually in grey and they're just like this, you can see the material of them, they're so cosy. Um, I just wanted some black ones because I've got grey ones. The last two things in this bag, these are more just like I just got them for Christmas and I'll just save them for like every year. One pack was £4, one pack was £3 because I have currently, I've just got them and I've just put them in today. I've got these earrings from New Hoops which I found out from Soph Does Life. Um, but I saw these and I just wanted to get them because I thought they'd be fun to have. So I got this um, pack of six Christmas earrings. Obviously you can see it's like they're opposite each other, like the right thingy. I just thought they were really cute. Obviously, like my ears sometimes go a bit black from like earrings like this, but it's not like a reaction. It doesn't they don't itch or anything. It just, you know where like the like colour is coming off of them, they kind of just rust. I really just liked the like little Christmas trees and the bows. And I just thought they'd be fun to wear around like a few days, maybe around Christmas or something like that. And then this packet is £3 and it's just three packs of hoops. Because I thought that was really, oh you can't, can you see them? These are really cute because I just thought I've got these on but for like Christmas day I could just take out the front ones. And just put like a pair of these on because they just look cute so i got this scarf it was six pound it's it says made using minimum of 30 percent recycled plastic but i don't know if it means this or the scarf <laughs> i'm assuming the scarf it's an oversized scarf it was six pound um that's all it says but i just wanted to get we i actually have like a red tartan one i've also got like a pink and 
bluey color tartan one i quite like like scarves that aren't just a plain color but i probably should get one that's just a plain color but the primark i went to was which is my like local one it didn't have like it had a good selection but like i wasn't vibing with any of the colors <laughs> apart from this one um and it's just like a very autumnal colored scarf and it's like an oversized one and yeah i just i just liked it i thought it was cute and it's got like this this color up here as well and then i just got another pair of tights these are just 40 denier ones so i wanted some thinner ones that's it and then next i got a bubble hat which was three pound and basically i don't i have one bubble hat it's like a like a gray beige and it's um from h&m from like years ago like 2016 I love it to pieces, but for some reason, it itches me every single time it's on my head. Like, it makes my forehead so itchy. And it's definitely, like, the wall. It's not, like, my head getting hot because I can wear, like, a beanie and I've got no issues. But when I wear that, that particular bubble hat, it really itches me. But I'm looking for, like, more bubble hats that are, like, chunky, like this one. But in I want one in, like, grey and cream. And black there was actually a red one on boohoo so i might try and see if i can get that but this was only three pounds this was the only one in primark that was like a chunky i think the gray one but i didn't get the gray one for some reason it just looks like this again i think this really suits my hair as well because it's a dark color so my hair like that contrast looks really really nice with the like blonde and the brown and i think this looks really really nice on me if i do say so myself and it's got a nice little bubble at the back. And the next thing I got, well this isn't that interesting anyway, I just got a pair of fluffy socks. <laughs> which are just like a beige and a cream and they were £2.50. Oh my gosh, they have this little thing at the back. I didn't even notice they were like that. Can you see that? They've got like fuzz at the end. But yeah, I just wanted some like bog standard colours so I just got that pack. And then I also got exactly the same but just in... Um, a pink and like icy grey so I've got like quite a few pairs of fluffy socks now so that's nice next thing I got <laughs> was this Christmas hat it was £4 but I really liked it because it was a knitted Christmas hat, Christmas hat. It was like a Santa hat rather it wasn't like a normal Santa hat it was a knitted one so I thought I'd get it. I mean, the ball ball is quite heavy. I can't lie. This has got some weight to it. And it's quite big on my head. But I quite like it. So we're going to stick with it because it's pretty. And I liked it because it was knitted. So it's warm. And then the final thing I got <laughs> is a decoration. This is Mr. Gingerbread. Um, it's £6. And it's called a plush decoration. They had a big one of these. They had a reindeer that was massive. Like not even that big actually. Like a metre tall. And it was £75 in Primark. What? So I got this. I want to get the snowman that matches. But my mum went in there today. And they don't have him. So yeah. I got him. But I'm just going to do the outro now. Because I'm scared. <laughs> so but yeah. I just thought I just thought he was like super cute. Because he can just be a de little decoration in my room somewhere. I feel like the stuff I got from Primark was quite good. Because it's quite like random like little bits and bobs but i just thought i'd show you because i actually you might be interested to be completely honest so yeah that's it okay, that is everything i got from primark if you enjoyed this video then please be sure to subscribe like and comment and leave any video ideas you have down below and i will see you in my next video bye